So, you've most likely bought a, a internally wastegated turbo where you have one of these fancy things. I know they're less fancy. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you take internal and turn it into an externally wastegated. So basically, we're going to delete the internal wastegate off of the turbo and then you'd have to run an external wastegate. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disassemble uh, this side, the hot side here. Now, this one has, you know, an array, uh, an arrangement of bolts that I need to remove. So I'll pull those off, and then, uh, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Also, I will be removing this little surclip or C-clip or whatever the fuck it's called. So we'll be removing that. So that way when I remove this, I can show you what I am talking about. So with the magic of editing, it will be done just now. So take out all those bolts and you take that shirt clip off. This is what you got. All right. So what we're going to do, so I'm going to set this up here. We're going to basically, we're going to cut this little guy off here and then we're going to put it on here and I'm going to weld it. Um, what I've seen some people do is, uh, basically you could just, uh, if you don't really want to take that off, another option is you could just uh, cut it and then, or you just tack weld it here and then you just cut off the end and then you just finish welding with all this force down on it. Um, the big things to be careful when you're doing this is to cover this up. You do not want to get welding beads down in there. That'd be really bad to get them on your turbine. So, but yeah, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this little dapper off here. And get it welded on here. So let's get this thing prepped and then I'll be right back. So let's do that. All right, so we've got the little thing off here. So I throw it on the ground and lose it forever. So what we do, let's we'll put it in there like that. I mean, you can weld it on there like this if you really want. I'm gonna just do it like this because it'll make it a little bit easier. And then for this, there's this little guy here, the other way. So this was on there. Cut that off, and you just pull this guy out. And then you'll have to fill this hole. You could either like cut a little piece of that off and then just kind of weld that in there, or you could just fill it. Um, but yeah, so we have to fill that as well. And then one thing to keep in mind is that this, when it's on there, it will possibly hit these. Um, one thing you can do is uh, pretty much you can uh, just uh, weld it and then you'll just have to flap disc it down on the edges. Just got to be careful because you don't want to create a, a leak. So... But, uh, yeah, let's uh, get this thing prepped and get it welded on. So let's do that. All right, so I actually ended up cutting this down. Last time I did, I didn't, but to try and save on time from not having to grind around the outside, that's what we're going to do. So now we've got the welder set up. Now we're going to, oh, yeah, and then we also put this uh, little piece of sheet of metal here to prevent the... Sparks from getting down in under there. Um, but yeah. Now what it'll probably do is uh, just get to getting. Um, I might actually hit this, hit the turbo with, I'm going to tack this on there and then I will uh, use some propane and then I'll heat this up because you want the turbo, because it's cast iron, so you want to heat that up as much as freaking possible. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, just heat this up, and then we'll hit it with as much heat as possible. So what I did with mine, mine's works fine. So, I mean, I mean, it's totally up to you what you want to do, but this is how I did it. So let's do this. And apply heat. And once it's, uh, you know, warmed up a bit, then you can continue on your welding. 
but you just want to put some heat into the cast iron. So let's uh, get this heated up and we'll be good to go. And once you're done, pull the heat and then we're going to start welding. So let's get to welding. Boom, welding. So now we're going to just hit it with the wire brush and we'll see how she looks. Boom. Doesn't look too bad. You can tell that there's definitely penetration going on around the outside there. So I think that's good. Should be good. Um, then we just kind of got to get all this splatter that was over there. Luckily nothing really stuck to the, you know, where the thing goes. So that's good. Now we'll uh, get this guy. We'll get this guy filled. So let's uh, get this thing done. That's what she looks like now. See you in a bit. Boom. Done. So that's welded up. Now we just got to bolt it back together. Uh, we first got to figure out, make sure we're not got any uh, clearance issues. Um, take out these bolts here. It's a little toasty still. So we got that. And we grab this guy. And we'll see. Looks like it might be good. I'll try bolting it on and then we'll see if it uh, if it bolts on, no problem. So let's do that. Boom, went on, no problem. So yeah, cutting that down is actually a pretty good idea. So uh, yeah, next step is to remove the freaking internal wastegate completely. So just boom, boom, take that bitch off. Well actually, hold on. We got to actually cut it because it needs to use these uh, brackets to hold that housing on so what we'll do is we'll take this off and then we'll give this a little cut and then we'll put this piece back on this piece will be cut off so let's do this so there it is we got that off it's in the vise so now we're gonna cut boom there it is just took a flap disc to it and got it all cut off so this is what it was like it was just sitting on there and boom junk just gave it a cut and then just flap dust it so that way it looks good so now let's get this back on the turbo boom and done just like that we now have a turbo that is able to be externally wastegated so boom there it is in all its turbo glory so but yeah that's pretty much all it takes you just gotta well, I mean I mean it's not like it's not everyone has a welder or the ability to weld, so I mean that doesn't really help. But I mean I if I can do it, it's a harbor freight welder, you know, hundred dollar welder. And let me tell you, a welder is probably the best skill to have, or just have it and this good skill to have. So but yeah, there it is. Done and done. So um yeah, that's gonna be it for this one guys. That was it. Um so like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'm sure you'll get to see more of my ghetto-ness around here. You know, I think this is a pretty legit solution. I mean, it's been done before. So, but uh, yeah. See you guys in the next one.